All right, what up, though? Everybody, welcome to the channel. It's your boy Peas. We back, man. We just oh, this is my video for before the season. Actually, do I need to turn my light on? Let's turn a light on. So this is my video before the season starts, and I'm just going to kick it off right here and say. Jameer Gibbs is rushing for a thousand yards and he's receiving a thousand yards. Rushing and receiving a thousand yards, 2K, Jameer Gibbs this season. I'm all in and you should be too. And if you are a fantasy football uh, nut like I am, I'm drafting Jameer Gibbs in the first round with my ninth pick. Hey, bro. I went high on Amon Ra last year. I don't even think Amon Ra was a top 12 player last year. I drafted him number four. I won my fantasy league. This year, Jameer Gibbs is ranked 14. I'm drafting him nine because I believe Jameer Gibbs can be number one. He can be top. It's, it's how I feel. David Montgomery is still going to be viable uh, in fantasy, but I do believe that. Let's get back to business. We're talking about the Lions. So with that being said, I just had to get that out of the way. But real quick, before I talk about my predictions on my Lions in the season, I want y'all to go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become a player in the palace. Join us. Uh, join your boy Peas, man. And we're gonna make some good. We're gonna go make some good stuff go. We're gonna make some good stuff go. But um, join me on the journey. Definitely gonna be a long one. But um, the journey right now is to the Super Bowl. That's honest to God truth. I believe the Detroit Lions will go to the Super Bowl this year. I believe that we will be uh, one of those. Top three seeds, doesn't matter. To me, I'm crazy. The ceiling is 17 and 0. The floor is 12 and 5. It's how I feel about my season. Um, with that being said, I just want to go and talk about week one. Week one is the start of something new. The week where this is going to be a very interesting NFL season, and I want to see what y'all are talking about in the comments section and how y'all feel about this upcoming season. Because game number one, Tampa Bay, not Tampa Bay. I keep wanting to say that. Week number one is, what is the word I'm looking for? Week number one is, game one is Baltimore Ravens versus the Kansas City Chiefs. Have no idea how that needs to shake out. All I know is my boy is a Steelers fan. So I'm rooting for Kansas City to win. Um, Sunday night, Lions got the Rams. I will be in attendance. We're going to be lit. I'll catch y'all at the tailgates. It's going to be fun. Um, I do believe it'll be another hard-fought game, but Lions will come out on top. I honestly believe Lions will be undefeated rooting by a week. That's how I feel. Um... And then Monday night, the Jets and the 49ers, I would absolutely love to see the Jets take down the 49ers. I would love to see that. To me, I honestly, truthfully believe that 49ers are on a downturn. It's what I feel. Because they could, I mean, Chase Young, granted, you know what I'm saying, he has his issues, but Chase Young is still, he should still be Chase Young. There's no reason why that defense had so many stars to where they just could not capitalize on the Super Bowl. I honestly just truthfully believe that 49ers are going downhill. Christian McCaffrey, he's got, you know, he's got injury problems. I think they said Elijah Mitchell is like out, out. Um, I have to check on that. But honestly, I just, Debo, hopefully he's healthy this season. But again, he's been on a downturn as well. George Kittle, he's just gonna be he's gonna be a guy. He's gonna be a stud. He's always gonna be that guy. Um Brandon Ayuk, I just don't see him being a top five receiver. I feel like last year was good. It was cool. They say uh they believe his best football is is ahead of him. I don't know how much I trust on that. Ricky Pearsall is going to be a dog, though. Ricky Pearsall, when he, once he is able to get some run, he's going to be good. I just, I feel like this 49ers team has been has been really good for a long while, and I feel like we're about to start seeing the downturn of that. Um, the Eagles, I just don't know what to say on the Eagles because I just did not expect them to just lose Tampa Bay like that last year. I was not expecting that. Um, 
So we're gonna see on that on that end too. But it's just Saquon. Will he make them better? Yes, he can make them better. But Jalen Hurts just does not really do well with running backs. I, just, I, it's it's just it's kind of last year was just a weird year for the Eagles because the Eagles are such a great team. Hurts is a great quarterback. Sirianni seems like a great head coach. Them bumping heads, I did not expect to hear uh, going into this season. That was a very weird thing. It can explain some things of why last year was weird like it was, but still, those Eagles, man, I was, I was scared of the Eagles. Um, I have no idea how it came about. The, the Packers are the sixth best team preseason rankings right now. Because the wide receiver room, there's no guys there. Like, they got a bunch of young guys, but no proven guys. You know, a lot of guys are trying to make a name for themselves. Jordan Love, he's still trying to make a name for himself. This is going to be his second full season as the starter. So we're going to see how the second year turns out. There's only one running back, basically, for that running back room, and that's Josh Jacobs. It looks like they're going to run his butt in the dirt. You know, I think they said this is the only year guaranteed or whatever, and every every year after isn't. Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. If I'm Green Bay, I'm really trying to run Josh Jacobs. I'm trying to have him run that ball so that way, you know, we can really open up the young guys to prove it. You know, the uh, the Jaden Reeds, the Christian Watsons. I can't remember the tight end's name, but he's gonna be somebody to keep an eye on. You know, I feel like. Their offense is okay. You know, Jordan Love, he's going to be able to make it do what it do. But usually that's how great offenses are. A lot of guys are just, they're there. And then you have like a quarterback that can really rein them all in. But I don't know. I feel like we just, we really need to see these Packers more before you start, like we're starting to say they're the sixth best team in the league. Um, And that defense is good. I just don't think Jair Alexander's that guy. But it is what it is. Um. Nothing against him. It's just, I honestly just, nothing strikes fear in my heart in my division for the Lions. It doesn't. Um, and that's so weird to say in this day and age. But um, Vikings, I see nothing out of them, sadly. Uh, I mean, not sadly. That's, to me, I dislike the Vikings the most out of everybody in the division. Um, and then the Bears... I want every. I don't hate the Bears, but it's just I. I want people to pump the brakes on the Bears because they're going to be good. Just not right now. Give them a couple of years. I feel like. I feel like they could have been better, honestly. Um, so we're going to see about that, and I don't know. It's going to take some time. It really is going to take some time. But um, Cowboys are going to implode. I just want to know what y'all are thinking in the comments section because I'm just rambling and thinking how I'm going through the season with the Lions in the NFC because anything can happen in the playoffs, sure, but I feel like we're going to see a green... I feel like we can possibly see a Green Bay Lions matchup in the playoffs, but at the same time, I'm looking at the Lions' number one seed, and if the Lions get the one seed and we're at home all these games, we're winning. We're winning. Like our fan base has been absolutely nuts. The Lions cannot get home field advantage. We get home field advantage. We're breaking records. We already have the third uh, loudest game in NFL history with the Rams last year. We're going to break records. NFC championship. Like I said, don't let it be in Detroit. NFC championship in Detroit. We're we're bringing it home and we're going to the bowl it's going to be a beautiful day in the city of Detroit for the whole state of Michigan. Um, I want to, again, I just want to know what y'all thinking in the comment section. Y'all want to think I'm crazy. That's fine, bro. I just believe in my team. I've watched my team. I know my team and I know what they can do. You know, we got, I think we have three undrafted uh, rookies that have made the team. Shout out to all of them. Um, like I believe, I believe Ray said it. Um, this is a team where you, you're going to play. If you're good, you're going to get the job, but you're going to play. Um, so I'm, I'm excited to see about that. Uh, Houston made the roster. I'm glad about that. I'm sad Kaminsky, his season's over. 
in more fantasy news, Jake Bates, you better uh, buy a lot of stock in Jake Bates because he's going to be he's going to be doing he's going to be doing the big thing this season. I personally believe, uh, I think he can break. I think he can break a field goal record. I think he can. I think he can. I know he can. Anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I just I'm, I'm very confident in my team. I like where we are. I like. It's it's just scary though seeing how good the Lions are because you really we've never had this before and right now we are in the midst of the Lions are a Super Bowl team. Me being a lifelong Lions fan, I it it, it kind of it 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 more so feels scary to hear it than good to hear it because it's like now the expectation is there and now. I have to go back to me kind of like being disappointed with my team because I've been nothing but happy with the last two seasons that we've had with the Detroit Lions. You know, there's been some ups and downs through the season, sure, but oh my God, last season was the just the best season in my lifetime as a Lions fan. And the, that last 20, 2023 will live on in memory in my lifetime because of my Detroit Lions, and I'm happy about that. Um, out of the AFC, because I believe the Lions are going to win the Super Bowl. Uh, Lions are winning the Super Bowl. I believe it. If we go to the Super Bowl, I'm happy. If we don't go to the Super Bowl, I'm going to be disappointed again. Um, because we really... Well, I wasn't disappointed last season. Let me not say again, because I'm just more so... I'm just more so disappointed with how that game, that second half ended out. But us getting to the NFC Championship, claps all around. I'm just, I'm happy about it. You know, we got the first playoff win in, in uh, I don't know how many years, decades. So I'm happy about that. But this year it is Super Bowl or bust. You got to make it. You got to get there. You got to get out of the NFC. And again, I'm not really worried about getting out of the NFC this year. I'm not. AFC, we. Kansas City, Baltimore Ravens, Houston Texans. Those are the three teams I'm looking at for the Super Bowl out of the AFC. I just don't know how it's going to shake out, to be honest. Because I personally believe that Baltimore can't... I believe it's Baltimore's time. If that defense keeps up what it did, I don't know if that's sustainable what the defense did last year, but if they can keep up that defense from last year, I believe that if that defense holds up from what it did last year, I believe that Lamar Jackson can finally stick it to Patrick Mahomes and keep him from getting his third in a row. Houston is a sneaky play. Houston is a very sneaky play because they have the best wide receiver room in the league to me. Nico Collins, Tank Dell, and Stephon Diggs, three studs. That wide receiver, and you got Joe Mixon as the running back. CJ Stroud's an absolute dog. That defense looks like it is nice, like I knew it would be, because that head coach boy, that 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 coach is a dog boy. Let me tell you something. But again, you know, I just feel like it's going to be the Detroit Lions versus either the Houston Texans, the Baltimore Ravens, or the Kansas City Chiefs. In the Super Bowl. And I honestly have no idea how that's gonna shake out. That uh that dog apparently he predicted uh what did he predict? I think he predicted Houston and the Lions. I think he predicted Houston and the Lions. Uh but we're gonna see. We're gonna see. Honestly, uh it's gonna be very interesting. Sports Illustrator said the Lions is gonna win. Again, it's scary that we have these eyes on us. But I just want people to keep the same energy, keep the same comments and thoughts about the Lions that they've always had. You know, keep thinking of us as the underdogs because Detroit's never going to win. It's perfectly fine. And I love that mentality. You know, it feeds my, it feeds the players. You know, it ke- it, it keeps that dog in them. You know, um, they they've proven time and time again they're going to make it to the Super Bowl this year. This year, I am going to close out the video with saying this. 
Dan Campbell is going to continue to call it on fourth down, and I will continue to be happy with his decision to do so. He is a dog of a man, and I believe in him, and I know what he's going to do for this team. So I'm going to just end that video there. And for anybody who has a comment or a question or they want to debate in the comments, whatever it is you want to do, have fun. Go at it. But make sure you become a player in the palace before you do so. And I'm going to catch y'all later. I want to see y'all thoughts. Peace out. NFL season. It's time.